Are all sins the same? Is every mistake that we make counted as one? As we enter into Elul and the season of our tshuva of repentance, we think about what it means to err, to make a mistake. Now, the parsha we're going to read this week begins, See, God says, I place before you bracha, blessing, and klala, curse. That seems to set up a relatively black and white distinction. You can choose blessing and you can choose curse. Ovad Forno, one of our medieval commentaries, writes exactly that. This verse teaches us that there is no middle path of partial good or partial bad, but only in every moment, bracha and klala, blessing and curse, and we must choose wisely. I disagree with what Sforno writes, and that's okay. It, we can disagree with rabbis. I think the next line of the Torah that says, the curse means turning away from the path of God, teaches us that there is a distinction between things we've done that don't turn us from the path of the Lord and moments where we have a break. We disagree with the value or tenet of our religion and we're out. And only we know when we make mistakes, whether we're talking religious or interpersonal, if the rupture is significant at its core or it's a mistake. Have we truly chosen to turn away from a blessing or did we just forget? As we go into Shabbat and we begin Elul and this season of repentance, the cheshbon and nefesh that we need to do, the searching our soul that is up to us is to think where do we have disagreements of a fundamental nature with the world and our religion? And where have we just made mistakes that we need to come up with ways to do better in the year to come. Both are valid and both are important, but only by knowing where we stand can we truly make a distinction between blessing and curse and navigate the path towards the Lord. Because in knowing where we stand with God, we can understand where we stand with ourselves, where we stand with others, And as we enter into this season of repentance, it's finding the distinction between where we stand and where we want to be, where we find ourselves in klala, in curse, and want to be in blessings. And bridging that gap, that is the project of our season, the project of tshuva. Shabbat shalom. See you in shul.